All right, I'm in this real quick. If me and a girl were a perfect match, uh, personality and humor wise, but she only f with girls, we wouldn't date. Looks matter. Problem solved. Video done. All right, see. It. Well, that's more like gender matters. Okay, Vibby. Yeah, but nah, you're right. Actually, and also I need to watch time. Stay for like eight more minutes. Right, see, there's this common debate that's been going on for years and for about a day on my Twitter about if looks matter. I feel like y'all know where this one's going. All right, so my grandpa used to tell me this story, right? See, one day, this very lonely man enters his rundown apartment building, and as he's walking upstairs, he suddenly hears a voice he's never heard before, a beautiful one, a woman singing a melody, and it's so beautiful it makes his heart jump. He searches through the building to find her, believing he is destined to marry this girl with such a glorious voice. He finally finds the room where the singing was coming from, and he notices a woman inside. He also notices that she is not conventionally beautiful. But the man felt that looks were superficial and continued to beg for her hand in marriage. And she agrees. But as he progresses in the marriage, the man realizes he's made a giant mistake. Every morning he wakes up next to a face he has no interest in. Every day until the sun comes up. And he couldn't bear it. He couldn't bear it at all. He'd have to ask his wife, sing for me, baby, please. Every day so he could deal with her disgusting, ugly ass mug. I probably shouldn't keep my picture there, I feel bad. Moral of that story being, marry someone you're attracted to because being attracted to them matters. Looks matter. End of the video. Cool. And every time my grandpa told me that story, I'd look up at him starry-eyed, inspired, and then and, would and say, Grandpa, you're full of shit. Okay, I didn't actually say that to my grandpa, I was like eight. But he was full of shit. That's right, I used to think looks didn't matter. What a fucking idiot. Your opinion is valued here, please don't click on- See, that story to me never added up 100%. Liking someone for their looks was incredibly superficial, all right? I mean, what if they're hot and have a bad personality? Like, I was on my after school special shit. But if I wanna be 100% real with y'all, like I always am. Because that was a lie. I really needed looks don't matter to be true because I was one E.T. looking ass bitch. I look like Carlton's nerdier light skinned cousin. And I, I know that's true because those are all the insults people would literally tell me. But to be fair, I at least deserve 25% of it though because I didn't really take care of myself. Like, hey, you want to know what's sexy? Soap. But for the most part, I was pretty much ugly by default and I had a lot of problems talking to girls because of it. As one would expect. In fact, I vividly remember crushing on this one girl in one of my classes a freshman year and her straight up telling me, You're ugly and annoying. Just leave me alone. Fair enough. <laughs> See you around. She did not say that. Okay, she said I was not cute, but to still leave her alone and stuff. So it's basically the potato, potato. Or despite all that, I kind of stuck with the idea that looks didn't matter. And for some reason, over time, I started to notice I was starting to get treated better. Like people slowly stopped making fun of me. Girls would ask me out, which was a pleasant change of pace from the usual asking me to leave them the f alone. Like some girl actually like confessed to me on like some anime shit. It was wild. And I knew it, I knew it looks didn't matter. I'm not really into you like that, but yo, thank you, thank you. However, not but a week after that, I made a horrible realization. See, I remember being in class with a couple people and we were having this conversation about who we could see each other dating in our class, because that was a thing we did, apparently. And the same girl who called me a disgusting, ugly thing that didn't deserve to live. You said she said you weren't cute. Potato, potato. And she says Kurt and Mary would be a good couple. They're both pretty cute. Both pretty cute. Both. Is it hard? H hard for what? Is it hard living with amnesia? Cause I swear you forgot. You call me an ugly ass, bitch -ass, bum -ass bitch -ass three days ago. I'm pretty sure I just said you weren't cute. Potato. And that really threw me off until I put it all together. See, what I didn't mention is that that conversation was three years ago 
Okay, I didn't like realize it three years, but it was for y'all for dramatic effect. It, it was a long ass time ago. That happened freshman year, and I was a junior now. So it's been three years. People have started to treat me nice. Girls have asked me out on dates. And whenever I look in the mirror, I don't want to die. Oh, shit. Boy, I shot up from 5'9 to 6'2. I had facial hair. I learned how to use contacts. I know this sounds bad, but logic told me I only got treated better because of the glow up. Well, what about your personality? Could have been that wrong. Why? Because nothing else about me changed. Yo, like, I had the personality of a tube sock my freshman year, and, and, and now I, I still do. It just stuck around for three years, and then we got like a little sweaty. I mean, my hygiene didn't even change that much. Even now, I'm still debatably as dirty as I was then. You know what's sexy, regular Kurt? So fucking so. Really, sure, I learned some lessons, but I was generally the same guy. The people just like me now. And around that time, I really saw that looks mattered because they mattered to people. They mattered to society. I mean, y'all see it. Look at this. Look at the difference. This is the only f changing factor. And I wish I still was like that. And how shitty is that, man? People just care about you more if you're more attractive. I mean, like, I got the Carfax right here. Attractive salespeople tend to make more than not so attractive salespeople, right? Good looking bartenders and waiters tend to get more tips than average looking ones. I mean, it is written in our DNA. You will instinctively like good looking people so you can have babies with them and people would want to date your babies. Well, name about your baby, your kids, so your lineage goes on. But looks just have such a strong pull. It's like if you put me in a death match with another dude, and you gave him a gun, and then gave me, like, not a gun. And you're like, okay, kill each other. Yo, uh, but, yo, but he, he has a gun. Doesn't matter. Mother. Okay, I get it. I want to be attracted to the person I'm dating. Please don't kill me. And yes, I know I have a whole ass video titled Why I Don't Want a Hot Wife. I, yeah, I do. But I just don't want them to be super hot. Like, I want, like, a cute girl, like a nice girl, because I'm very insecure about myself. That's a personal problem. Don't, don't worry about that. I, I'd like to be attracted to them. Even if it's just a little bit. Even if it's just, like, them being clean and sh Like, please, yes, take showers. That is very arousing. I mean, looking back to that situation I was in, if one of those girls said they really love my personality and wanted to date me, but they thought I was ugly as sh I wouldn't be too happy. I feel like most people wouldn't. But that leads me to a follow-up point that is critically necessary for this whole thing. Mostly so I don't sound like a narcissistic asshole for seven and a half minutes. See, look, the whole point of the argument, looks don't matter, is that it's in context to the fact that you can't get someone without having looks. Now, on the very bright side, that is absolutely wrong. All right, is wrong. You 100% can pull someone and not be Ryan Gosling or, or insert a good looking male man I am not. Uh, personality, humor, uh, being rich, all these things also matter. All these things make you endearing and way more attractive to anyone. Like these, everyone knows this, we know this. In fact, they're more important than looks, but that doesn't mean looks don't matter either. See, basically what I'm saying, to people, it's important. We have proof for that. It sucks that it is, but it's true. Now, even though I'm 100% right, I told you, it doesn't mean the other qualities don't matter. So don't put all your self-esteem in your looks, all right? Because you can go after who you want without it. It's just something else to hinge your bets. Wait, I swear, six videos ago, you said you wanted to f a car. Okay, we're just gonna bring that up. Yeah, I did say that. So where was the physical attraction then? No, I was there. What? Thanks for watching. Oh, what's up, y'all? Oof, that was a little too bright. Let me back up. <clears throat> I remember when I had time to upload on time and not literally right before it goes up. Yo, so if you liked that video, I would highly suggest checking out, um, what? What should you check out? What, the, what was this video about? That's how tired I am. I do not remember what I just talked about for eight and a half minutes. And I'm working on it right now. I'm currently, that's not it. I'm currently editing it. And I, I'm that tired. <laughs> if you like that video, you might just like my why being rich sucks, because speaking of things that don't matter, uh, money. Apparently that's something I don't need at all, and I talked about. So you guys should check that out, it's a really fun time. Although as always, thank you Mads for the thumbnail, beautiful work my friend. And as some of you may not know, I do not draw my character, my artist Vibby, who perpetually heckles me in the videos does. 
Um, so show her some love. Their links are in the description. Um, but I'm yeah, extremely tired. I'm gonna go take a rest. I don't know what else to say other than thank you. And also, uh, almost, and thank you for all the new people. I hope you guys are liking the content. I'm really bad at the outros. I'll see you guys. Peace. <laughs>